633. And a New York City staple now at the center of controversy this Monday morning. St. Patrick's Cathedral says they were tricked into holding a funeral for a transgender advocate. Well, the service made, uh, they say, the service made a mockery of their faith. Pix 11's Julie Millay joins us live from St. Patrick's Cathedral in Midtown this morning with more. Julie. Good morning to you, Craig and Vanessa. St. Patrick's Cathedral here behind me, known for its history, known for its heritage, known as a New York City landmark and destination. Now, of course, at the center of that controversy because of a funeral held last week for Cecilia Gentili, a well-known trans activist and self-proclaimed atheist. Gentili died earlier this month. The 52-year-old was known as an advocate for transgender people, sex workers, and people with HIV. More than 1,000 people filled the pews to honor her here last week, but now the church says they were tricked into hosting that funeral. They say they are outraged over what they call Gentili's, quote, scandalous behavior, claiming when the request came in for the funeral service, they only knew it was a request for a Catholic funeral, not what Gentili stood for. The New York Catholic League said the funeral was held under false pretenses and that they didn't know Gentili was biologically a man. The group issued a statement saying that trans activists, quote, defiled the cathedral, saying at the service, many of those in attendance dressed as hookers danced in the aisles, sang Ave Cecilia when Ave Maria was sung. The statement goes on to say, quote, those who support defiling St. Patrick's Cathedral are rank anti-Catholic bigots who look, talk and act like deranged men and women. A pastor at the nearby St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Church, which is LGBTQ friendly, shared a post on Facebook yesterday. The pastor's post said, pro tip, it is a good pastoral practice to reach out to the family of the deceased directly to express condolences and to plan a funeral liturgy. And by all means, Google the name of the person to learn as much as you can about their life. Beyond that, all I can say to our neighboring parish is welcome to the LGBTQ ministry. Now back out here live in Midtown Manhattan this morning. Over the weekend, a mass of reparations was held here at St. Patrick's Cathedral. The church said that was to atone for the funeral service held here last week. That came at the request of Cardinal Timothy Dolan. That is the latest from St. Patrick's Cathedral. I'm Julie Millay, PIX11 News.